Well, as we all know, Memorial Day marks the unofficial start of summer, which kicks off vacation season for a lot of people. But nearly half of Americans will not be using their paid vacation time. Joe Gonzalez from Robert Half joins us to explain. This is something that we've a trend we've seen growing mm -hmm. over the years. Americans just are afraid to or overwhelmed to take away their time. I think a lot of them were overwhelmed. They feel like they'll fall behind and they kind of if, if I'm going to fall behind, I might as well not take time off. Mm -hmm. A lot of people try to save it up is what some of the studies have shown for later in the year in case of family emergency or you know, just sickness or anything else that might come up. But you know, the part about being over, overworked and, and behind really kind of leads to, you know, just potential burnout for a lot of employees too, which is, goes in reverse of taking time Right, off. so you're not as productive because yeah. you just cannot work at your best level. Right. You know, compared to Europe, they take a lot of vacation time, more than two weeks, obviously, mm -hmm. holiday as they call yeah. it, and yet they're quite productive. I, I, they were very well rested, clearly, but I think <laughs> it's like, I, it just shows that I think, it just, maybe it's a mindset here in America, but it's just, when time is taken off, the studies show that people who are refreshed are more positive, they get more work done, they think more clearly, mm -hmm. and overall morale is, is better too, which is a big piece of being successful at what you do. But at the same time, there is a fear, and sometimes it's a reality, mm -hmm. that you may understand that, but your boss does not understand that yeah. and is not supportive of you being gone. Yeah, a lot of times the boss almost ha a lot of it comes from leadership. And if, if your manager doesn't take time off, then you you think it's the right thing. A lot of times employees feel like, well, if I don't take time off, I'll 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 stand out to you know to my to my management. And so it it kind of works both ways. But I think it's important to really make sure you you are taking that time off. But the, your production is going to suffer. But if you have time off, how you have to unplug as well. You have to not pick up the emails and get online yeah. and start doing some work, right? Yeah, I, and I'm probably a hypocrite that way a little bit, but it's, it takes time to get better at that. Um, in today's technology, it's just so easy to have everything with you all the time. Mm -hmm. um, people maybe compromise a little bit and put the phone away and check it at, you know, midday and later in the day. Um, but it is, it's important. If you're gonna truly, really refresh and take advantage of a vacation, you, you have to try to not take everything with you. So the real question is, do you see corporate America starting to recognize this and taking action towards supporting employees using their time? I think they've become more flexible in a lot of places. I think as the economy's improved, some of this may change a little bit as, as teams get a little bit larger and maybe the workload is, is spread out a little bit more than it has been over the last few years. But I do, I do think it's important. Companies really now more than ever are wrapping their arms around their best people. And if, if it's burnout that's chasing people out of companies, then they have to pay attention to that. Okay. All right. Thank you for coming in you today bet. and giving us perspective. And if you'd like more information on this course, you can go to our website at foxbaltimore.com slash morning.